In February, we're going to do the house block. You will make three blocks. If you choose to, you could have one block in the center and two side blocks that are blank, or two blocks and one in the center that is blank. As long as you make one of the house blocks, that will count as the piece. But you will need to make it a total of eight and a half by six and a half inches for each block, so that will be eight and a half by eighteen eight and a half when you're finished with the entire row of blocks. We're going to just start by looking at each row. We make the small cuts. These are small piece cuts here. Lay them out and sew them together as shown. Very simple. For the top row, first sew your chimney piece to the sky piece and then sew your other pieces together. The first row is done. Now you move on to the second row. This is the back side of the first row. You don't have to have all of your houses with the same background or same chimney and house fabric. You can choose to do whatever you like. For the second row, we're going to make one flying geese unit using the house rectangle, one sky square, and one roof square. Put the sky piece on the house piece, draw a line, and sew directly on that line. Trim off the excess and then press your piece out. You're going to make sure you check if you have directional fabric that it's going to be sewn in the correct way before sewing either your sky or your uh, roof piece. Then after your sky is opened up, you're going to sew on the roof piece in the exact same way. Here you have your flying geese unit. Now we're going to take the sky and the roof square, sew it corner to corner to give us one half square triangle. Here's a little trick. Put an X on the side you're going to cut off. Then sew one little thread closer to the side that has the X. That way you'll have plenty to turn for your half square triangle. Now that you have all of your pieces prepared for row two, just sew row two together. Row two gave me some difficulty. It was too long, and rather than just cutting off at the ends because you're going to end up cutting off your points here, I went back and took this piece, which is D, and just gave it a little bit more of a generous seam on both sides, and then it shrunk up row two enough so that it fit into the proper six and a half inch measurement. Row two is done, and that's what it looks like from the back. The third row is very simple. It's just one strip at six and a half inches by one and a quarter inches. On the fourth row, I don't start from the left and work right. I start with the J piece and go around in a spiral. That's the small window piece. It just goes together a little bit easier. It is not a difficult row, it just has small pieces. Lay out your pieces, start with the window, go to the very small piece above it, then work to the right, to the bottom, and then go back to the left. Once your window piece J is sewn to your small piece K, you go to the right and you sew it to L. Once you have all of your rows done, you just sew them together. The final row of grass, I'm going to cut a very long piece and just sew that on all three of my houses once I'm done. I cut and made my houses all at the same time and yet they all have a little bit of irregularities. Just trim them before sewing them together and then you should not have a problem. Once you're done sewing together all of your pieces, you can add your long grass strip, or you could have separate pieces for the grass strip. Here I have all the same sky, a night sky, and all the same grass. This one has different sky and different grass. Here's another one with a night sky and then just the one solid strip of grass.